reaction to me solving that problem. I was completely amazed and, um, you know, kind of surprised by your in intelligence. Like, I work with high school kids and for you to be 10 years old to be doing this kind of math, <laughs> it's simply amazing. And it's phenomenal to, to watch. So Thank I'm, you. I'm so proud of you. I see you like as like the next Einstein or, or yeah. something like that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I would say I congratulate you so much. I would say that continue with your inspiration. Um, I see your enthusiasm and your face as you do all this problems and so it's much. so incredible to watch. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for all of the stuff. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Sabuna I bear from Mary Time Clap and here was a restart of Math for Bronx. So obviously we're restarting this as I made uh, my earlier announcement, which was earlier in the morning today. So Math for Bronx. So let's start with differentiation. Of course, this will be all subject for all topics for all kids and students and uh, people alike. It's never too old and never too young to learn math and science. All right, so what is differentiation? Well, first of all, let's learn the definition of differentiation. So let's take a graph. Let's say we have f of x. Oh, God. So, uh, this is pretty old, so it's tipping away. I mean, that's the virtual macro branch. It's been here for so long. So now, we have x and x plus h, let's say. And now, that means that this is going to be f of x. And that is going to be f of x plus h. All right, so now, if we make a secant line, which is a line that intersects a graph twice, then it would look like this. But that's not what a derivative is. Taking the derivative means that, let's say this is 8. Now so when 8 gets low, so we're taking that secant line over and over until 8 is equal to 0. And then we want to know what that secant line looks like. Eventually, it will only intersect the graph at one point, and we will call that a tangent line. So, that's how we find the derivative of a function. So, well, first of all, if you recall the equation for slope, it's m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where the coordinate for this to the left is uh, x1 y1 while the coordinate for this to the right is x2 y2 now we plug in our value for y2 y1 x2 and x1 and this will actually be our derivative which we will represent with d over dx of our function which is f of x so now y2 is uh, equal to well, the y of this one which is f of x plus h and then y1 is f of x and you divide that by x2 which is x plus h minus x1 which is x but uh oh the x and the minus x are going to cancel out leaving us with h so that's our concrete equation d over dx of f of x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x over h so Oh, uh, we'll just write that on the other one. f of x equals x squared. So, well, let's keep in mind our function d over dx f of x squared, obviously. So, x plus h squared, now we subtract that by x squared and divide that all. A mathematician in the making, right? <laughs> thanks. Future Einstein. Uh huh? Thanks. D over dx of f of x. So now, by expanding this, oh we God, get x squared so plus 2x plus, plus, plus 8 oh squared. Uh, we should have brought a blackboard here because this street chalk isn't really is working. Um, 10 years old doing oh all right. So oh now, boogie we're boogie going to cancel this. Smart kid. Uh, 
F of X is equal to. I gotta uh, go through some hassle to read this. Uh, oh God, two X eight plus eight squared over eight. And now we're going. We're going to factor out h from here, giving us d over dx of f of x. So if I look a little derpy, so uh, that gives us h 2x plus h over uh, eight. And now those cancel out. And uh, let's just go over here. Maybe I did need that extra space. So that gives us d of, uh, over dx of f of x equals 2x plus 8, but since 8 is approaching 0, we set that to 0, giving us f prime of x, or the derivative of x squared is 2x. Alright, so that's the definition of the derivative, and one solve of differentiation. reacted to me solving that problem. I was completely amazed and, um, you know, kind of surprised by your in intelligence. Like, I work with high school kids, and... For you to be 10 years old to be doing this kind of math, <laughs> it's simply amazing and it's phenomenal to, to watch. So Thank I'm, you. I'm so proud of you. I see you like as like the next Einstein or, or yeah. something like that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I would say I congratulate you so much. I would say that continue with your inspiration. Um, I see your enthusiasm and your face as you do all this problems and so it's so incredible to watch i'm so proud of you thank you so much for all of the stuff <laughs> i keep i will say keep sharing that because um you know like people your age should know that you know um they're like the sky's the limit okay mm -hmm. so keep going and i'm, I'm so proud of you thank again. you so <laughs> much and it's such a coincidence that you actually work at a high school yeah, yeah. so i see this all the time so i'm so i had to he's stop a, here he's a guidance i'm a guidance school. counselor guidance oh school counselor. So i'm okay. actually a pediatrician too so oh wow i'm call the news yeah. channel you need to be in the news <laughs> you, you need, need to, to be, be in the, in the news. news and talk <laughs> to oh, all thank these you kids so much. Yeah. yeah so you're the one that does all of this here 